Welcome back to T and Toys. You know me, I love a retro action figure line, so that's alongside the Star Wars and the Marvel 375 line. We are getting reissues of the Indiana Jones line. Now, a lot of these figures were actually scanned from one of the Hasbro employees' personal collection. So we're all going to get a part of his collection in our collections. But we get, first up, and the only pre-order that has been dropped is the original Raiders of the Lost Ark Indiana Jones in his adventure gear. Excited for this one. Um, I remember seeing a lot of these at other convention halls throughout the years and always really expensive, especially on the card. So I'm glad we had the opportunity to be able to get one for myself, admittedly in a retro action version, but sometimes you just don't want to spend thousands, you just want to spend 15 quid. Again, the price is a little bit steep, but I'm happy to have my arm twisted for just for Indiana Jones, right? <laughs> but who else do we get in this line? We get Marion Ravenwood in the dress which Balak gave her. She comes with the Kabuchin Monkey. Major Tote. Funny enough, it's weird how his name is never mentioned in the entire movie, and you only find it out if you buy the toy. <laughs> Always find that odd. We get the German mechanic as well, getting that famous scene where he's fighting that big old mechanic guy. And we get Balak in his ceremonial outfit. Now this is the figure which I believe it was a mail away originally and which came in a poly bag and they were meant to be released on the card but he, I think only like samples were ever kept from original Kenner employees so it's nice to have this figure sort of come out on the card. I like, you know, it's, it's the version I quite, I quite like this one. And then Wave 2. Now watch the recent uh, Hasbro videos about Wave 2. Indiana Jones came in his separate video, so he'll be pre-ordered again separately like Indiana Jones 1. So this is Indiana Jones 3, and it's with the TIE version. It's not too different from the original gun pistol, but it comes with the satchel and the um, Holy Grail. So he's actually been up for pre-order separately. Not yet dropped as of this video, but he's separate. And I do want to get this one as well. I think you have to get two, but I'll have to explain that again in a minute. Now, as you can see, I was excited until I watched the Hasbro video to see that the second wave figures are Target exclusives. Now, being in the UK, Target exclusives are one of the biggest nightmares to get hold of over here. I might be wrong, but I wasn't particularly pleased or happy to see the big old Target logo at the end of the video for these additional figures. Like I've always wanted a short round action figure. And to think that I'm going to have to hunt high and low just to get this one based on a retro design, which again was never really released originally, but so frustrating. Fingers crossed that these will be more readily available. And you get Indiana Jones from Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. You have to buy another Indiana Jones 3 toy to give this one the satchel, because you can see from the even the production photo that's on this card bag, he has the satchel, but this one doesn't come with the satchel. Urgh, how frustrating, right? And then you get Henry Jones Sr. Oh, love it. I, it. One of those things, you know, guy in suit. Here he is. <laughs> Cannot wait to get these in hand, if I can. And then we get, again, Sala from Indiana Jones 3. His tie all painted on there. And then other figures that were released in the original 1981 toy line. So we've got Indiana Jones in the German trooper disguise and then we also get indiana jones from the map room outfit now that one only came available in little play sets i'm not a fan of the play sets being re-released personally that's not something i'm interested in if the play sets are released it's one of those things where i'll buy it take the figure out and sell off the rest because i have no interest in the silly play sets i know a lot of people disagree with me on that one but for me personally I'm not interested. I would rather just have this version of Indiana Jones on a card back alongside the monkey man who's next to him here. Those two were originally play sets. Not interested in play sets. And then you get the Cairo Swordsman. Now that is a figure I did actually see on many trips and holidays up to Blackpool. Hundreds of them. Nobody buying them. Probably should have bought one <laughs> in hindsight. But there he is, the uh, Cairo Swordsman. Then you get Balak in normal outfit. Again, guy in suit. And... Sulla from Indiana Jones Raiders, so Sulla 1, let's call that one. So only six other figures 
needs to be released. And I say all on card backs, not interested in play sets. So fingers crossed we do get these. And then having a look at other potential figures, nothing has been announced. They have sort of slipped and sort of said there is a wave three coming. So these are just sort of potential figures I'm thinking from each movie. Now, using the Kairos Swordsman as sort of a template, that means anybody can be available, like just tank driver and German soldier or or desert digger. There are so many like like non sort of character characters that they could use. So just have a look at ones here. You know, you get Jock, you've got Katanga from the ship, you know, one of the Indies allies, Doctor Octopus, <laughs> or Sapito, or Sapato, I think I think his name is. And obviously got Marion in the other costumes that she also has. Now to be fair, let's face it, the Marion in the red trousers is quite iconic, and it'd be silly for them not to do that one. So I'm surprised they did the one they did. So we need arm action Marion with her frying pan. So that, is, that is a must-have. And a few other characters like uh, is it Colonel or Major Dietrich here, the other sort of German soldier that's in the um, film. He gets melted in the end as well. Jock, the old fisher guy with his snake. Again. He appears in one scene, but people love it. People, people are like, yeah, I'll have the playing guy with a snake, Reggie. And then other possible figures from the Temple of Doom. Although Temple of Doom technically does chronologically happen first, but you know, it's the second movie. Uh, so yeah, again, you can see you've got sort of Lao Shea, his two sons. You've got um, is it Luhan, again, another one of Indy's allies, the Prime Minister guy, and... Played by the same actor as the German mechanic, the old thuggy muscle guy. And then Willy again. Willy comes in Willy could come in many costumes, but I think for Willy, the main one they should do is probably the um, Club Obi-Wan dress. That's, that's iconic looking, it looks good, and it'll be for an attractive figure. And I can't not mention old um, Muller Arm there. You have to do the main baddie from the film. And again, the last crusade is Indiana Jones 3. Um We've already got the Indy. We've already got Henry Senior. So, who else could they do? I think they should do the River Phoenix in the Boy Scout outfit and have him come with Indiana the dog. And they could use the old Snake Eyes timber mold for that one. There's no excuse why they couldn't just do that. Easy peasy. Would people like it? Oh, some people probably complain, but it's an easy packing, right? That's his packing. That's his accessory. The dog. New after the dog? Hell yeah. And then we've got Indy as a German officer. <laughs> Again, they might not do that one, but they have to do the um, no ticket indie from the Zeppelin. They have to do that one with the thumb saying no ticket. It's a silly question. They need to do it. And maybe there's a pack of four, the um, <laughs> the treasure hunter guys, or rob uh, grave robbers. Now the Grail Knight. Now that comes for an interesting figure compared to everybody else in like the toy line. You got the main. Is he, is he the main baddie? Walter Donovan? He's sort of like the big honcho, but it's mostly the Colonel dude that's the main baddie. Uh, heck, you could even put Elsa down there as well. Again, Elsa, I've put one picture of Elsa. Yes, she does have a few costumes throughout the movie, but the two main ones are, are very similar. It's ones, without, ones with a skirt, ones without a skirt, arguably. Now, the costume that she wears in the picture I'm showing, one where she's got the, the grail in her hand, there's earlier in the film, she's got a hat and the, the goggles on for the desert ride to the, um, the site. And I think that'll be an interesting look for that figure. So it'll be interesting to see what they do there. And again, like with a lot of these older figures, the Sultan guy, you know, if you'd taken the um, Star Wars as a template, you know, random characters that they would do as toys because they're, they're bright and attractive for the shelves. So I could see them I could see them doing the Sultan. And then, yes, the Indian Jones 4, I know there'll be complaints for me even mentioning Indian Jones 4, but Unfortunately, it happened. It was there. But again, a lot of figures you could get. You get the older Marion, Oxley. Yes, I have put the in interdimensional being there. Again, looking back at the Star Wars line, a crazy alien type character. How would they not have done that in the original, well, I say the 80s, if this film was 80s, let's say. So let's, if, it was one, if it was actually one of the original, original ones. So yeah, there is um, <laughs> the interdimensional being. Again, see the problem... With the Indiana Jones. Oh, there's nothing for that one. Is it any good? We don't know. Is. Now, looking back a lot of the characters here, outside of 
very few. Mostly it's guys in brown, tweed, green or grey suits and or uniforms. There's not I mean, a, a wide array of characters that would have different looking clothing on. So that could be one thing that might hold back too many waves of this Indiana Jones Adventures like revived line. So do you want a shelf of guys in suits? I don't know. Uh, I'll pick up the, like some characters, like the two American CIA FBI dudes from Indiana Jones 1. I don't know if I want <laughs> random guy in blue suit and random guy in off brown suit to be there. Like key characters, I'll definitely get Katanga. I'll probably get Jock, Sapito, maybe Marion in the red dress, in the red trousers, definitely. Marion from Nepal, probably not. At the end of the film, Marion, I don't know. It's an odd one. Definitely want all the original figures released, which they haven't done with Star Wars. But there we go. That is the Indiana Jones toy line as it is. Will we get them all? We don't know. Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and see you guys and girls in the next one.